All right, guys, here we go. I decided this is a fairy penguin from Australia. Has to be small to fit in the ball. <laughs> Let's get started on this fun watercolor penguin. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, good wherever you are. I hope it is good. <laughs> and thank you so much for joining me tonight. We are going to have a fun time. For me, it's 6 p.m. in the evening, and so I am winding down my day, trying to just have a little bit of fun. I hope that you find something fun in this video. Please remember to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and turn on your notifications. We've got all kinds of fun things going on. If you're interested in these designs, I did 31 fun designs. And you can actually download instantly from Teespring all 31 designs in one file. Then you can print it out on whatever paper you want or trace it onto your watercolor paper, however you want to do it. That makes it really fun and you can start painting and drawing and coloring right now. If you don't have a printer, I do have Cute and Creative Coloring Book. This is the exact same designs. You can still put this on top of a light box and trace these designs onto your own paper and paint them however it makes you happy. If you want to paint it on rocks, please do. Make sure that you share your artwork with me on social media. Just tag at Deliberately Creative. And I think... That's enough of that. <laughs> Hello and welcome everyone. Yes, it's almost bedtime for a lot of people in the U.S. It's coming up on early in the morning. Other places over um, like down in Australia, it's early in the day. And uh, tomorrow, <laughs> we're time travelers here, guys. We travel through all the time zones. All right, let's get started. <laughs> I am really excited. This is a very cute little guy. I Now, fairy penguins are actually on the beach. And let's see here. I have I found a site. Actually, I just went on to went on to uh, Google and just did a search for fairy penguins. Look at that. Look at that face. Isn't that the most adorable? And I love the reflection of light on him. Now, I'm probably not going to do ours too blue like that. I think there's a little bit of some photo enhancement going on. But look at that. Aren't they cute? And they're little guys. They're not super huge. They've got lots of personality. The smallest member of the penguin family. And just going along and taking a look. See how small they are in comparison to that person. Very little. But, uh, see, we've got... My drawing is actually very similar to the fairy penguin. So that's where we're going to go with it. I don't have rights to any of these pictures, so I'm just showing you on the internet just some random what I found on Google. And I will be kind of looking at this little guy. He's about the right angle for what we're doing. But it's kind of fun because looking at this, his feet are actually kind of pink. He's got um, probably muck on his tummy. He's got this pretty blue and going down to the very little wings off the sides that are black. And... It does sort of swoop around underneath of his beak. So let's go back to my page so we can now look at what I'm doing. Come on, move over there. There we go. So you see how this little guy is? We didn't do too bad, did we? I mean, considering we're making up our, our own little, our own little penguiny dude. So you're in the 30s on the Palm Coast. Oh my gosh, how cold is that? I'm warmer here in the Pacific Northwest than you are in Florida. Wow. But we're pouring rain right now. Absolutely bucketing down. So I think we're going to go with blue sky. We're going to have sand down here. 
And this is going to be a donut with pink frosting, I think. Because I don't think that he's going to be inner tubing down. Well, he might be inner tubing down some sand dunes, but not the snow. So I think that's what we're going to do. And maybe the sky is. Ooh, maybe the sky is going to be more sunsetty with the beach and, and water. Okay, I need a pencil. So I'm saying he's probably standing on a rock. So we're going to add just a little bit. That's like a, a bit of a rock right here. There's the horizon line. I'm going to say the horizon line is going to show up higher in his little ball. And it's going to kind of curve. And then back down. Probably be good if I got the horizon straight. So let's pick this up. Take a look. Horizon. Maybe the rocks will be about like that. Kind of rocky, beachy type of stuff. I don't know. I know that they do have rocky, sandy beach. Rocky beaches with sand. Rocky, sandy. Kind of like the Pacific Northwest um, beaches, actually. Catherine just went out to check her mail and the wind near, nearly blew her over. Yeah, and Catherine lives about 40 miles from me. Or 35 miles from me. So she's a little bit more north. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to work. What do you think? You guys you guys happy with that? Kind of, kind of fun. We're going to put him into an actual scene. And this is going to be just playing and having fun. And if it turns out awesome, that's super great. And if it turns out just that we had a lot of fun, that's super great too. Because you know what? I just want to have more fun. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. I'm going to wet the top half and get kind of a sunset going in here. So the sunset is going to be on the outside. It's also going to be on the inside of the ball. We're making this a clear ball. But the sunset is going to be offset, so I think I'm going to not do the sunset inside the ball until I figure out what we're doing on the outside. And to start off with, I am going to go with mm, kind of a, the yellow. Might have to clean that yellow off though. Looks like it's got a bit of blue on it. It's kind of going green. I don't want green in my sky. All right, so let's go ahead and get some yellow started up in here. And then we're going to go to some magenta. <laughs> Catherine, always the one to try and make a deal, hey? You would like to trade for Gina's cooler weather? All right, so now I'm going to put some red. This is magenta, and I'm going to have that go into some of that yellow. And yeah, I am using this big brush right now, aren't I? It's kind of fun kind of fun to use big brushes sometimes. Oh, I like that. I like the color change that we're getting there. We're just going to work that up. And now I'm going to pick up a bit of some Prussian blue. Oh, we've got Miss Katie and we've got Miss Catherine. Wow. I love it. I love it. So I'm grabbing the Prussian blue to really get, I want it to go dark up here at the top. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the kind of phthalo-y blue and I'm going to mix that 
right here because it's going to go purple. It's going to give us just a little bit of a change. There we are. So we've got kind of a night sky going in. I'm just pulling that purple down a little bit. I don't want to get it into the yellow too much or the orange, but you know what? A little bit isn't going to hurt us. And I'm letting some of this kind of work back and forth and make it feel like we've got some, some clouds going on up here maybe. It's just starting to get darker. Put a little bit more darker up in the top. And now I'm going to dry that and then put, then put our sunset on the inside of the ball. Rinse my brush. That is very true, Catherine. Katie. She will live uh, 30 miles closer to you. <laughs> and I'm looking for my... There it is. I was looking for my heat tool. This is an actual heat tool. It does blow out hot, hot air. Um, these colors don't seem to shift too much when I heat it up and it dries so much faster. It stops the stops the colors from moving. So what I see is what I'm going to keep. Now heat does or can make your colors go a little bit softer looking, but drying does that too. <laughs> a winter rainbow. Yeah, it could be a winter rainbow, couldn't it? I'm making this whole scene up. I just decided it's a fairy penguin, so it's going to be um, near the ocean. And these are rocks that it's sitting on. And it doesn't have any, doesn't have any snow. I am going to put some stars in up above. But first, I'm going to take my smaller. This is the, so I was using the number one Simply Simmons flat wash. And now I'm moving to the number 12 Mimic Creative Mark. You can get all of these brushes on Amazon and just click my link down below. It's an affiliate link. I do earn a small commission when you buy things through there. Helps my, helps my studio keep the lights on, keep me in paint. So I'm going to put that whole sky is going to fit inside here. And I should actually wet the rest of that up. Wet the rest of it? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Gina, for reminding folks. Please make sure and click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with your friends. All the good stuff. I just used yellow for the whole thing. I'm going to have to wipe off up here at the top. Just blot it. There. Just a little bit. I need to not have it be so yellow because I don't want it to turn green. I'm going to grab some of that magenta. Wipe the water off the ferrule of your brush. And, you know, I really... Ooh, that's very strong. I really am so happy that you're here and that you're sharing some of your evening with me. This is a calm and... Once I settle down, <laughs> this is a very calm and uh, creative place. Lots of fun, lots of fun people to chat with and to enjoy the, the, the evening. I'm going to soften that up just a little bit. Bring it down into that yellow a little bit. And kind of over the hat just a little. I think his hat's going to be a dark green. So pick up a little bit of that phthalo -y blue. And 
and then some of that Prussian blue. I'm going to say that that Prussian blue is actually pulling down around the outside, turning a little purple. On the inside of that, and we're just going to have it go all the way up into that cap bit, the neck. I just took some straight Prussian blue, very dark, and pigmented on my brush. Oh, look at this little fairy penguin. He's coming in and he's going to have a beautiful sky. I think I am going to bring some more of that uh, Prussian blue up in here. There we go. I'm just sort of dry brushing it across. I've got it wet. There. Just feels like it's, you know, a little bit darker up there now. The world is curved, the sky is curved. Boy, Miss Amy is Miss Popularity tonight. Her husband pulled her away from the video so he could give her birthday gifts. Her mum and love came over to gave her birthday gift. How sweet. And then she's got all of us here wishing her a happy birthday also. Oh, they say it's your birthday. Well, tell me who cares. Yo ho, so it's your birthday. We'll tie up your feet, make you walk down the stairs. Yo ho, so it's your birthday. You'll get lots of presents tied up in a sack. Yo ho, so it's your birthday. And after they're open, I'm taking them back. Yo ho, so it's your birthday. Yo ho, yo ho, yo ho, so it's your birthday. And that was written by Heather Alexander back in the 1990s. And she sang it at her gigs when she did folk music song gigs. She a, was a fiddler and a singer and like to go to the Ren Fairs and things like that, and she was always a pirate. So that's why she had a pirate birthday song. Oh, that looks really pretty. All right. Arr, to be a pirate song. Absolutely. Absolutely. What can I say? I've already told the story a uh, few days ago about how I would wander into classrooms and sing that song at teachers and other staff uh, when it was their birthday at, at the school that I worked at. So now I'm going to dry this and I have to figure out how I'm going to do the water. So right now, I'm just going to dry it and make sure that nothing moves. Maybe I'll go in and put the stars in because I can continue to think about what I'm going to do for the water. <laughs> Hello, Darcy and Joanne and Joan and Shauna. Wow, we've got quite a crew in here. Everybody's coming to celebrate Amy's birthday. <laughs> Or they're coming in to celebrate this really cute little fairy penguin in Australia. So I think I am going to put stars on and today I am going to do them not spattered. I'm just going to, and I'm not even using wash. I'm going to use a little bit of some uh, just acrylic, crafter's acrylic. So it's fluid, fluid acrylic. And I have a an art Sherpa. Oh, this is the Sterling Studio number zero round. And it came in one of the uh, art Sherpa kits of brushes. So here we go. I'm just the the white paint in the cap. I'm just using it. 
I'm just going to go and give myself some little tiny stars. Yes, I could spatter them. But, you know, sometimes you just want to, you just want to do more detail. And this is a way to do it, do some detail without doing too much detail. And nobody really needs to worry about, you know, making your, your star constellations. But I do need to, to slow down and think. Light touch, light touch. Let's, uh, here we can switch it to that side camera. Let's see, let's see what, what we've got. <gasps> Ooh, pretty colors. So light touch. You see it, I'm barely even touching the paper. And I'm allowing it to be some bigger, some smaller. And if the brush starts to get a little bit too gloopy, just rinse it out. You don't want to leave the acrylic paint on your brush. And Darcy says that she's been painting like crazy, making cards. Well, there's 26 designs. 26? No, there's 18 designs. Today is day 18. The reason why I said 26 was because earlier today I recorded the video that's going up on the 26th. And I made comment about there being 26 designs. <laughs> So, stars in the sky, stars, planets. I'm trying to not make them look like snowflakes. So I might, after I get these stronger stars in here, put a couple to make them look like, like special, special stars. Not too many down in that red part. More of the stars are up higher. It was really interesting when we were down in Australia and in New Zealand, um, right at the turn, right at the turn of the century, we went to New Zealand in 1999. And we went to Australia in 2004. And the lack of light pollution makes it so, so incredible. I'm actually going to put a few stars in the blue part, just, just up high. They should be really, really small and really, really light. But you know what? Sometimes your hand has other ideas. And that's okay. But the lack of light pollution, the stars are so incredible in Australia and New Zealand. So when we were up in um, Cairns, uh, C-A-I-R-N-S, Cairns, <laughs> I know, kind of weird, but um, trying to make that not so big. Didn't like that one so much. Um, so when we were there, we got to do some evening, evening adventures and the amount of stars in the skies. And when we were in New Zealand, we were up on the North Island. We never went down to the South Island, but the stars were just incredible. All right. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. Oh, loving it. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on here. I already rinsed the paint out of my brush. 
so I'm not going to have a problem with that. Hey, my colors aren't too bad between the two today. I think just because I am kind of avoiding the water for a minute, I'm going to come down here and do the rocks. <laughs> what can I say? I'm avoiding the, the, the water. I think the rocks, we're going to have an underlaying color of kind of a, a brown and yellow ochre. Because, you know, rocks with uh, highlights, the highlights are going to be that more the lighter brown. I am going to put some of that in here. Give our little fairy penguin a place to stand. So this still could be an inner tube and it could be his floaty for playing in the water. Our, our penguin needs a floaty to feel comfortable in the water. How about that? Our little fairy penguin has a donut inflatable floaty. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm in one of those kind of really silly moods. A really silly mood. Give it kind of that sandy dirt rock stuff going on. You've been doing most of your own thing, and then you did a couple of mine, and now you can't stop. That's right. Hey, Catherine, that is a really good, really good suggestion. You know, most people are going to like whatever you send them. They're not going to call you up and say, hey, did you send me your ugliest card on purpose? No, they're going to say, hey, thank you so much for thinking of me. And to them, it may not be the ugliest card. So if you're not happy with a card, doesn't mean somebody else won't be. So send it off to somebody else. And they are going to probably absolutely love it. Now this is just, this is just sort of the underpainting. Okay, so when I say the underpainting, it makes me think of Muppet Treasure Island and uh, Tim Curry as Long John Silver. This is my only number. <laughs> Just the underpainting. I don't know. You know. Sometimes I do have pop culture references. Sometimes I am lost when people use pop culture culture references. So I actually had one this time. All right. I'm going to get some darker color going on here. This is sort of in, this is like a little bit of a hill in front of the water. So the water is not lapping up onto this. This is going to be like a little promontory above because, you know, penguins always seem to like to jump off of things to get into the water. They don't tend to just saunter their way in. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of some darker brown. I'm not worried about making, uh, you know, having it spread with the, with the wet paint and those other colors that are there. We're just getting some rocks on. There's some highlights in there. There's some shadows. There's a bit more shadow underneath of him and on this side, I think. Maybe a little bit there too. I'm just building these up. There's probably going to be a little bit of some splatter down here on the, on the uh, s surface of the ground. Just to give us, there's no, I'm not putting any plants or anything in here. It's just going to be a rocky, rocky surface. But I 
think, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this a little bit rougher. There we go. Just a little bit rougher. And I'm going to grab a little bit of that Prussian blue with some of that sort of umbery color. Again, this is a card. It, you don't have to spend, you know, 47 hours on a card. You know, get in, have some fun, and get done. <laughs> And now I am working on this kind of flat and forward of me. So looking forward, I'm going, ooh, I need to maybe adjust that just a little bit, but maybe not, maybe not. I am going to take this paper towel and I'm going to just drop it down here. If a little bit gets on his feet, that's okay. But I am going to take and make some of that dark, dark, dark kind of gray color. Maybe a little bit more brown to it. And I, I don't want to do too hard. I just want to get some spots on there so that we have some variation that's a little bit less predictable. There. Just go for some less predictable stuff, you know? And then I can just take my really wet brush and put a few drops We'll dry it. We'll put another layer on in the rocks. See how we're going? Ooh, this is looking interesting. So if you're interested, the link for all of the designs. Now this is on the original that I drew during the 31 drawings on November 30th. And the link is listed up in the chat and down below in the description. And after the video, I will go in and put the link at the top in the iCard. So it'll be right up here in the iCard. So for the digital download, I, I should say all my words, you know, sometimes I forget to say all my words and my husband comes back and says, um, honey, you didn't use all your words when you were describing something. So people probably didn't know what the heck you were talking about. I'm just kind of putting this in, looking at those those rocks and going hmm, maybe a little bit like that. Maybe there's a bit of some rockiness going on here. Maybe that dark isn't really the darkest dark. Maybe there'll be more dark. Just get that sort of pebbly ground going in. Push a few shadows. <laughs> Florida clams versus are you talking about the gooey ducks here in in the Pacific Northwest? <laughs> yeah, the clams they have necks that when they're um, no kidding you can have a, a, a neck on a clam that's this big around. It's 
So yeah, I, I hope that you guys are having fun. If you are, and you want to be notified when I go live, make sure that you have subscribed and turn on your notifications. Make sure that you have them turned on your phone and on your, if you have an app on your, on an iPad or a tablet device, make sure that you have your notifications turned on there too, because if you have them turned off any place, YouTube won't tell you when I go live. And I'm thinking of starting to use my my newsletter as another way to let people know when, uh, you know, like give you a, a week in advance if I know it, what I'm doing on, on which days. So if you want to go to deliberately-creative.com and sign up for my newsletter. It's very infrequent. I am not very good at keeping it up right now. But if you sign up for the newsletter, you will get notified eventually of different things, like when I have sales on uh, my Teespring merchandise, or when I you know, might have art that's available for sale, and what art is still available for sale. Okay, this is getting this is actually turning into kind of a really nice rocky ground underneath of him. I want to kind of maybe get a little more texture up in here now. I think his, his donut floaty is going to have a lovely pink icing with little sprinkles on it, maybe. Because, you know... I think I've seen donut floaties that look like that. But again, this is just random and just do it as much as you want or not at all. For the ground, you could just have a, a soft sandy beach. I just gave him a rocky promontory to stand on. Let's dry them again. The Pacific Razor Clam is said to be the best tasting in the world, and I would have to agree. They are very sweet, and when prepared correctly, just like any shellfish, it needs to be prepared correctly. Correctly, in my mind, for a Razor Clam is actually, like a lot of other things, dredged in an egg wash, and then in crushed cracker crumbs, and then quickly fried to a golden brown and cooked all the way through in butter. <laughs> Everything's better with butter. Um, I'm going to take some of that, that blue and mix it into that brown that I've got there and just see about making a few more shadowy bits. Maybe see if they'll stick around as a little stronger. There we go. It's just, I, I could continue playing and pushing. I could eventually get this all the way to looking like real rocks. But for now, yeah, it's good. It's a card and we're having fun. I want to make that just a little bit darker down there. And now I think the water between the clams and the cooking shows. <laughs> hey, Leanne. Well, you are in summertime, 40 degrees though. Oh my gosh. That's, that is absolutely killer. 40 degrees Celsius, I mean, ugh. What is it, 37.7 is 98.6-ish? Um, so, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think, do I, do I want to go 
where the where the water is kind of reflecting softly the stuff in the sky just very softly so that's his his ball right there I'm gonna come down like this I'll, I can go in and put a few little highlights with white to make it feel a little bit more like it's watery. So Leanne, were you here when we decided this is a fairy penguin? I'm just kind of working that sunset down into the water, I think. Kind of backwards. A little bit backwards. Ooh, that's a little brighter. That was brighter than I wanted. That's okay. Go like that and pick it up and take that color down here. Move it onto that side. Thank goodness for an air conditioner and pool. Absolutely. At 40 degrees Celsius, you need air conditioning and a pool. <laughs> Let's see. So I'm kind of working this backwards. So I'm going to have the water that's closest to us, I think, is going to end up being put in with some of that blue. But I want to make sure that it's kind of like that. Maybe go a little bit up and use a smidge of... Oh, that went a little green. Oh, well, you know what? Water. I'm going to put some shadows out here in the water. And do the same thing down here. And then I can put some highlights in that. And don't worry about getting some of the color down inside the the penguin because you know that is going to be fine since we are going to be painting him in you know much darker I'm not looking at a reference for this right now so I'm making this up and it's probably totally wrong and that's okay because it's still gonna be look cute when we're done but I'm just taking my time tonight and just having a fun time. Uh, Amy, you take care. And, you know, the nice thing about it, this video is going to be around for a long time. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is looking so cute. You know? I kind of like that that little line happening back here. There's going to be some highlights over this. It's going to look like he's inside the ball. It's just suspended in midair. But, oh, this is turning out to look really cute. Let's zoom out for a second. So just, just zooming out for a second. I'm going to take a slurp of my tea, my coffee. Next, next month is going to be all about tea and coffee and I think that I'm going to strengthen this up down here, but I want to dry it a little bit. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I can I can turn on a dime, guys. Super excited, super calm. And I can do it at will. So, you know, I can I can be super super excited and then just let her go chill and decide, you know, chill is good. So right now, that background, I like inside the ball here. I want the water down there to get a little bit stronger. So I think I'm going to grab some of that sort of phthalo blue. We're gonna go and right back here, we're gonna just make this water stronger. Sort of at the horizon line. And yeah, it's gonna go kind of green at the horizon line. No big deal. And this is more of a phthalo. It does sort of grab on. Nice thing is I can go back in with my with my gouache and I can soften things up. And I'm thinking get some shadows in here with this blue and maybe put a little bit of some pink on the tops. And this is not not truly representative representative of a real beach scene. It's just sort of fun. I am going to go ahead and the magenta maybe little little touch of that. Have it just sort of dancing its way forward on the tops of some of that water. Have the shadow. Inside the ball is going to be a little more diffused just because it's inside of a glass ball and so it's a little more diffused. <laughs> oh, thank you. I didn't know that the that the chat would tell me that someone just bought the cute and creative winter uh, blah. <laughs> That totally flustered me. Somebody just bought the cute and creative hand-drawn winter ornaments to print and color. This one right here with all 31 of the designs. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right. I am going to put a little more of that pink there. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of that orange color just because we're making it a Technicolor ocean. And then I'll put some of that highlight in there. And it's amazing what a highlight will do. Can kind of get it to blur out right along the edge of that. I'm gonna grab some gouache, some Technicolor waves. Just put a tiny drop of gouache out. Yes, I do have some that's dry over here, but for going in and doing little things like little sparkles little sparkles on the tops of waves getting it to to come off the brush a little bit easier And I want to sort of dull that down out there. Boom. Look at that. You can go in, drag your finger across. You can take it all the way back to white if you wanted to. So I want that to be not quite so... It, looked, it started to look a little grubby all the way back there. Put the gouache down, then you can put watercolor over it. I think I got my waves a little bit too big at the back, but maybe not. Actually, maybe not. This wave. Just sort of pushing the... Let's go and let's try that other. 
So right here, I'm just sort of pushing with my brush to push the, the edge of the waves coming in. Well, that's looking good. Maybe they're kind of coming across. And just have fun. Just relax. Enjoy yourself. And you don't have to use wash. You can use white acrylic. You can use white colored pencils. And truthfully, it feels like my gouache is picking up a lot of the pink. Because, you know, the pink is really strong. So I think I might go ahead and I'll make sure that I, I wash my brush out really, really well. Yes. Yeah, they showed it because uh, whoever purchased used the link here in the pin. And that is so cool. I love when that happens. That Actually, that is the first time that has happened. I'm going to grab a little bit of this white acrylic paint. This is just craft acrylic, so it is very, very soft. It's the DecoArt Crafters Acrylic happens to be the white that I had sitting right here. And I just want to get a few of those little wavy bits. So you can use acrylic on your watercolors. You can't put watercolor on top of acrylic, but you can put acrylic on top of watercolor. Just like you can't put acrylic on top of oil painting, but you can put oil paint on top of acrylic. <laughs> All right. In the 80s, they would mix Pepsi with chocolate. Well, apparently in the 50s, not that I was around, but in the 50s, they would mix, um, I think it was Pepsi with milk or Pepsi with, uh, or Coca-Cola with milk. Sounds totally disgusting. Um, but they would do it. Now I'm taking a little bit of that darker color and just putting it underneath the edge of that wave. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that. A little bit of a darker color. I'm not putting the, the, the watercolor is not going on top of the acrylic. It's going right under the edge. All right. Yeah, I can sit here and putz and futz. Putz and futz. And that's going to be really interesting for the auto, auto captioning. There we go. All right. Take a little bit of that back there. Do the same thing over here. You know what? You get to a point and you go, I'm done. Let's just let's just wipe that side out. Get those a little bit wet. And do that. There. Sometimes that's all you need. You just need a little bit of, of wiping it out. I'm just gonna go really dark back here at the at the horizon. There we go. And then I go back and I start doing that again. I need to stop. So we're going to dry this. We're going to do the penguin and the donut. 
Actually, that's starting to look more like night waves on a beach, doesn't it? That actually almost looks like that should be the beach right there. What can I say? I am going to say that the that's the edge of the beach. So sometimes you guys need to see the frustration <laughs> and the the um, the willingness to work through and come up with something that you're happy with. I am going to see about maybe putting just a little bit of like a little bit of foam right here. Doesn't have to be bright. Again, I'm doing this without a reference. If I had had a reference, it probably would have been a whole lot better. Let's see. A few of these rocks might have a little bit of some highlight on them. I don't know. This is really watered down gouache, so it's not going to show up very much. It's going to be a little bit white here and there, but it's not going to, not going to do too much. There we go. You love this painting? Oh, thank you. All right. So I think I need to dry to make sure that I don't run my hand through anything. Yeah, the, the actor who played, who played Squiggy did just pass away from Laverne and Shirley. I did. I, I changed the entire perspective of the painting, didn't I? <laughs> and that's something, just changing the lines from being horizontal to diagonal. I just changed it from being the waves are coming straight in to the waves are coming across. I just want to make sure it's really dry. There we go. Okay. Now, penguin dude. All right, dude. I'm going to I I am going to do the penguin guy in with the wimpy black. Forever known as the wimpy black. Just mix it into that kind of gray down color right here. I want him to have a slight blue cast to that, to the black and the Prussian blue actually makes that black much darker. And I see right along the edge right here, let's zoom in on that so you can see a little better. <laughs> this is your favorite one today, Catherine. <laughs> yeah. So now we're going to start painting the penguin in. And I see right along the edge here, some of that yellow and the orange. I think I'm going to try and leave that for right now. So it looks like he has a bit of a highlight right up there. Now down below here, I'm going to try and leave a little bit of some highlights in his black. That's his, that's his wing. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to come down and leave a little bit of the rim. They have some cute little textury bits. They're not solid black or solid blue, 
as that one picture would make us believe that they would be that bright of a blue, but I don't have the picture up in front of me right now. I can take a quick peek of it. And if you guys want a quick peek of the, the, the little guy, this is the little one that I was looking at. Just really cute. And you see how he's got, um, he's got those, his little cheeks here are kind of gray and then he's got more of a blue and he's got that blue, but he has that white edge on his wings. And then it will be more kind of a yellowy brown underneath. And then he's got these really cool looking pink feet. Now I kind of gave him flippers, not feet per se. So I took some artistic license. <laughs> but this is just a Google, a Google search when I searched for fairy penguin. So I'm going to give him some little freckles. I may take a bit of that blue more and work it in the kind of frecklies just very, very faintly. I am going to come down here and say that his little flipper is coming through that the whole of his uh, donut floaty that will have pink frosting. And I think what we'll do is we will paint that in with the, you know, nice brown tones. And then the top is going to be with white icing and then pink icing. And so what I'll do is I will put it on with gouache and that way it can look really different. Ooh, you can see that I kind of, I kind of went wild there. That's okay. So I'm going to darken up that area right there over his little forehead and over his eyes. I want to be able to see his eyes still. So I'm going to just go over the eye carefully and not go quite so dark. At least try not to go quite so dark. I can always go in with a bit of a of a pen to hi hit that highlight a little bit. Let's see here. Just looking at that going, we need the dark part of his wing where it's coming through the donut it does need to be darker, doesn't it? So it looks like there's a shadow like that. I am going to put a bit more of the of the blue out. And maybe a bit of the phthalo -y blue. Let's see if we can brighten it up just a smidge. Well, that's kind of fun. And I've got a big water drop on my, on my brush right there. So I just wipe that off so it doesn't go landing in the painting where I don't expect it. I'm going to just give him a little bit of that blue. Kind of use that as my shadow. And it also darkens up. There. See a little bit of that shadow in there? gives it a little more depth. It's not just black. It's not just black. Oh, he's just, he's like, I want to get in the water with my floaty. Why can't you finish? Ah, another purchase. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Yeah, there's, you know, 31 designs, instant download. That's the cool part of that, you know? And it works really great if you want to download it and print it off and give somebody a printout as a gift. 
especially in this day when we're trying to, you know, stay safe. Find things that people would be interested in. I'm going to kind of clear that back just a little bit. Oh, oh, he's just got the cutest little sad face. He's like, but they're not letting me in the water yet. That's actually fluffing his face up a little bit. Oh, so cute. So yeah, let's see. I want, I think we're going to grab just a touch of sort of the yellow and the burnt sienna. And I'm just going to use that right along the edge of his body right here. very lightly and it's so dry that it's not going to impact the wet paint that's near it. Give him a little bit of a shadow right underneath of his there we go little shadow right underneath of his beak or bill Might soften that up just a little bit, move that color around just a smidge, get the dark color out before it. Apparently I didn't rinse my brush out very well. <laughs> hey, Becky, how are you doing? You, are you, are you, getting did you get over the fever that was very scary been doing a lot of positive thinking for you so yeah that's that was very scary i'm going to take a little bit of the magenta and i think a little bit of let's see I want to I want it to be pink but I don't want it to be too I want it to be, you know, kind of more fleshy pink. So it needs a little bit of a a red tone in it. So I'm just sort of playing here. I need the that sort of light pink go in here on his little feet little flipper or well actually they have feet with claws and and such so I am and they're pink little fairy penguins have pink feet little pink legs his wow somebody bought the snow people winter designs also thank you Thank you. Yeah, the um, Snow People was my first coloring book I ever did. And that was really, really cool. And you know, guys, buying the books is even better than Super Chats because I get more of the money off of the books than I do off of Super Chats. So, oh, it's still yucky, but you're down to 100. Oh, excellent. I'm so glad that you're, you're you know, getting into a more manageable range with your with your fever. I'm going to pick up just a little bit of that black and do just a little detail on his on his beak. And as you see, I'm not coloring his whole beak in. I am leaving some areas that are white because then it looks like his beak has some shape. We're going to go in and The ER doctor keeps saying it's COVID. You know what? It probably is. And you are one of those people that is going to have the negative response from the test. And they have documented cases of people having that negative response. I don't know why I just mixed that there. Um, <laughs> who continue to have a negative response to the COVID test, but they actually have COVID. And after it's all done, 
and you're all better and they do an antibody test they'll find that you have the the antibodies so I'm going in and just putting some of that brown in for the cooked part of the donut that you can that lovely donut dough that I can't eat <laughs> unless I make it myself so I can have it I just have to make donuts myself uh, if I want yeast donuts and somebody just bought the gift tags thank you thank you so much it's it's fun I have let's see I saw it sitting here somewhere not too long ago and I don't have it uploaded to the um, I have a question for you guys so I'm gonna kind of reach I've got to walk around my room here for a second So I have a question for you guys. I'm going to let that dry for a second. If I were to put my German Bell project pack up on for a di for the instant digital download on my Teespring. So it comes with a it comes with one that's got the design all drawn onto it. It comes with a template that is just set up so that you can draw your own designs or use it as a tracing template. Or the one that doesn't have those extra lines so it's pure white when it's all printed out. And this one that is just set up so you can cut it out and uh, fold it. So it's the it's the German Bell kit that you can make these really really nice kind of big ornaments. So I made this last year and this is the the one that's like your practice folding template. So I'm <laughs> Of course I I I started doing this one just as a because I'm being impulsive and there we go. So then you've got these wonderful three-dimensional that you can color. Now this one, like I said, is just the uh, folding template so that you learn how to fold and that's in the kit too. And a blank one is in there so you can print it out and just cut it out around it. So if that's something that you guys would like to see go up, I actually can get that up into the store this weekend. So let me know. And it would be like a, um, like a $4 pack. So it, I mean, it's got all the templates and everything and you can print them out and color them and they make a really nice size ornament. And it's also really nice because you can put things inside them. So yeah. Yeah. All right. Gail Byron. I think we had it in my house last February. We don't know. Boy, was I sick and it lasted for three weeks until I felt better. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of people, I think, in uh, January and February that actually had it and didn't, were not being diagnosed. And I think, yeah, Kristen, I think that um, we've had a few people in the, com in the uh, community around in uh, the Sherpa community and here that were super, super sick and in the hospital, uh, had to be on ventilators, different things like that, but it was right before. And so they didn't get diagnosed. So we're just going to zoom, zoom back in. We're going to finish this donut, his floaty and his hat. Set that down. Let's see. I want to dry it still. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very, well, actually, Catherine, it could be kind of organic for the shape, but it's, or it's very origami. You don't have to um, do any cuts to just, you just fold on the lines. 
my son learned how to make those in grade school. And, uh, yeah, Mary, Mark and I were talking about that. And we think that you probably did have it in December. Just the, how sick you were. And how thankful we are that you are better. So I'm grabbing some more of that burnt sienna brown. Just get a little bit darker back here and a little bit darker right up on that edge. And maybe some of the, the umbery brown, get it even darker to the back. And right on the inside, right near his little hand, or his flipper, his wing. It's not a flipper, it's a wing. Yeah, I think they're finding that a lot of people, that it was running around in the United States a lot earlier than they thought. So his little floaty now, I need to dry that again. There we go. Yeah, we have a lot to be thankful for in our community. Having Mary here still is really, really one of them. We were all, we were all doing lots of positive thought and prayer for you too that time. All right, so I'm going to take some of that gouache um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm put a little bit of fresh gouache out to do the, the white frosting and I will take the, I will put the pink on. I can see it. I can see the pen line through the gouache. So I can just go in here and get this on. And then I can color it with the color it pink with that magenta, get our pink on and then put just, I might even use sparkly, uh, the sparkly shiny pen. I think that sounds like a really good thing. Isn't he fun? Yeah. Thank you. He's, I think he's pretty adorable. I do. I'm going to grab just some of the pink that was sitting here. This is the magenta. And I'm going to just go right on there. Because you know, the pink frosting on this, on this wouldn't, it wouldn't have texture, right? But it could have an irregular edge. And it can be a little bit darker around, whoops, oh, got some pink on, or some gouache on my, on my paint there. I'll have to get that washed off. But gouache is just opaque watercolor. So I'm going to put a few little shadows in the pink, and then that will give me a place to put my sparkles, my sprinkles. And I'm gonna use sparkles to put sprinkles on. <laughs> there we go. You can see this on a 12 by 13 canvas. Wouldn't that be fun? You can do, you could do these on any size. You could take him out of the ball and just have him on the, on the ground too. I kind of like the effect of the ball sort of setting him forward with, with his uh, sky and water and such in there. There we go. So there, oh, that's looking so good. Now I want my, I'm just going to use some of these glitter gel pens and let's see what color we can get on, get to uh, show up on there. 
Ooh, that blue, that blue shows up really well. So let's zoom in so you can see it. I can see it, you know. Whoop. <laughs> that was a little quick. There we go. Yeah, so. You know what? Maybe, maybe, let's see. Well, you can actually see the sparkle of it. You can see the sparkle more in this one. I can't really zoom in closer. This camera is about as close, the, the one that's to my side is about as close as it goes. But I'm just putting, it's getting blue, blue jimmies, blue hundreds and thousands, blue, oh, what are all the different words? Sprinkles. It's interesting, so many different, yeah, I'm going to have to go from the top again. So you can see the sparkle. So, yeah, so many different names for the same things. Um, in, in the UK, I think they're hundreds and thousands. Is that what they are in... Um, I wonder if that's what they are in Australia also. Never thought to use a hairdryer on your paintings. Uh, yes, absolutely. Especially, I just grabbed a purple. So, you know, we've got blue and purple sprinkles. And they can be little, they can be little uh, horizontal lines or vertical lines, or, I mean, you can put dots. Make them sort of go different directions. Oh, so cute and sparkly. We're going to give him a, a, let's see. Ooh. Do we want him to have a painted hat or do we want him to have, I can color it in all with sparkles. Now I want to give him, I want to give him at least a green base to his hat and then we can put a few like uh, gold star sparkles or something. Um, yeah, I want to, I want to give him a, a base to his hat. So that's like the dark color of his hat and I'm leaving some room so I can move the color around with just water. So I rinsed my brush out. Now I'm just going to pull the color around just a little bit. This is kind of a green gold color or a, gold, a green with a little bit of a gold tone to it. And I'm going off to the side and I'm just wiping the brush off. So I'm not continuing to move the color around so much. If it gets, if it gets filled with color, I'm kind of moving it off, dabbing it and then coming back. And just because it's, it's the holiday, he's, he's just going to have some, he's still going to have fluffy in his, that little bit of the fluff in his hat. So kind of shadow down below, a few little speckles of it up above. And then right at that top edge of his, his hat, we're going to take it a little bit darker. Just bring in a bit more concentrated version of that green gold color or olive. It's, it's an interesting color. It really matches the Arteza pear green. 
I found that out today because I had done a, um, a workshop for my tangy with the, with the little sleepy gnome that we did here on the, on the channel. And when I was doing it, somebody had asked about watercolor pencil and I'd already put this green down. And so I grabbed the pear thinking, oh, well, that's not going to be that great. And boom. Oh, sorry. I went up off the screen because I had it zoomed in. All I was doing was moving the color around just that was already on there. Let's zoom out some. We're going to put the little bit of gray on the cap to make it look sort of silvery. So I'm just going to use some of that blue black that's down here. This paper is 100% cotton. So it takes a lot of water. It takes a lot of scrubbing. If you're working with a cellulose paper or a wood, wood pulp type paper, you might not be able to get as many layers and you may want to work with your paint a little bit drier, but you know, you can make this work. There are people that do all of their painting on uh, just bond paper, just, you know, like copy machine paper. Let me put a little bit more of a shadow right in here next to his, next to his little wing. I'm going to put a bit more of a shadow right down here. I'm just taking some that sort of burnt sienna brown. Just a little bit darker down here. Oh, he's just, he is just so sweet. Now we're going to put the highlights on and pull the tape. <laughs> and I know putting the highlights on is always the scariest bit. I do want to dry him. Yeah, his little eyes. I didn't do anything except um, put the dark around it and then didn't lead or didn't uh, go right up here let's zoom in on his eyes just zoom 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 get in there really close on his eyes so you see that's the, actually the eyes the way they were drawn so let's go ahead and i'll see if i can flip through the book here up oh, there he is oh so we'll zoom out now <laughs> So there we go. See, his little eyes are exactly the same as they were here. I didn't redraw anything on here. I added stuff, but I didn't redraw anything about him. So that's where we started and that's where we are. I think that's pretty darn cool. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to grab, oh yeah, I was grabbing the Want to do one quick? You bought a sketchbook right before you got sick. Use it to make some paintings. Absolutely. If you have a sketchbook or a mixed media pad, those are fine. Those are fine. Mixed media pads are a little better than a sketchbook if you're going to do watercolor paintings in them um, because mixed media paper is a little bit thicker, a little bit more durable. You're going you're gonna to do just fine. I'm going to, let's see, I might just see if I can get this gouache right here to reconstitute. Hasn't been sitting there too long. This is standard gouache. It is not, um, it is not an acrylic gouache. It is regular gouache. So it is just opaque watercolor. And I'm going to go like this and put doop, 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 doop. We're going to get just a little bit of a highlight going around since there's so much dark. Just get some highlight going around. A little bit of a highlight right here, a bit more there, a bit of a highlight. Boom. Just like that. Making the sh I'm going to keep these highlights sheer and I'm not going to do a ton. but it would be really nice if I could keep my hand there. I 
I think right over here needs to be a sh little bit more sheer of color. So I'm just going to say it's a highlight. <laughs> and I'm going to grab just a little bit more. Give me just a couple little sparks. Not. And I'm just taking the paint straight from the tube. Magical lighting. It's one of the things here. Magical lighting you can have sparkles. You can have, you know, like dot, 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 slide along and maybe a little bit more dots. Maybe brush that out just a little bit and that one just a little bit. So they're a little bit diffused, but not too much. And diffuse those ones. See, slightly damp brush, you can change them ever so slightly. You don't have to, to live with a, a super harsh lighting if you don't want it. There. We are going to put the cap back on this. I'm going to take the brush out of the water. I'm going to wipe it off. Crayons, gel pens, pencil crayons, acrylics aplenty. Oh yeah, you've got great stuff to do your artwork in your sketchbook. All right, let's zoom out. Boom, biddy, boom, biddy, boom. This is going to be so much fun. Yeah, I've got the, the pens here. Let's... There. Pull the tape off. I am so excited, guys. This, is, this has been so much fun. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure that you have clicked that like button, that you have subscribed to the channel, that you turn on your notifications. Okay, now we're going to zoom in again. There we go. And that you... Share your artwork with me. If you do this, please share your artwork. I am so tickled by how he turned out. I'm going to go ahead and just put my little initials right inside the ball next to his feet. Right there. Cute little fairy penguin in a holiday ball. He's ready to go playing in the water with his floaty, which is a donut with sprinkles and pink frosting because that's the way this little guy rolls at sunset. I think, I don't think that I had this in mind, but I think that I couldn't imagine anything different. What about you? <laughs> you want him. All right. Well, he is going to be going into my, this was, this is the last one that I was waiting for. He's going into my set number two of the gift card of the gift tags holiday gift tags and he will be set up just like this as gift tag and he will be set up just like this as an ornament that you can hang on your tree that you can tie onto packages and the cover is even set up so you can cut out the nine glue it down onto another piece of paper, put it on a card, and have a last minute card that you can hand to someone or mail to someone in your town. Remember, guys, thank you so much. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I wanna see you back here again really soon. Oh yeah, do something creative. <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow live at 12 p.m. Pacific time, both Saturday and Sunday. And we're going to be doing fun stuff. So check it out.